Guys, so I forgot to mention in my video on complex analysis textbooks, I forgot to mention this wonderful book by Donald Marshall called Complex Analysis. Now, I used this textbook as a supplement to my graduate course in complex analysis at the University of Utah. And I really liked um, um, one aspect of this book, which was the the graphics, actually the visualization. So there's a lot of um, graphing that's done in this textbook um, and figures which are plotted according to this um, color framework, uh, which is used to kind of um, visually portray complex mappings, okay? So there's some sort of, let's see if we can find a, a figure here. I don't want to copyright the book. Hopefully I gave full credit. But yeah, we can see a ton of these figures here. These are just um, representing, okay, this is the map cosine of, of Z here. And we could just, these colors here are just um, representing the angle in the complex plane, okay? And so you can see kind of how uh, the, it, it gives you a nice way to visualize um, these, these elementary functions and how they are actually mapping the complex plane into itself. Um, so I really liked the figures here. And there's a lot of figures like this, it's wonderful illustrations. You can just see, wow, all, all of these different figures showing, um, all, showing different elementary functions. So it really helps with uh, nice intuition, okay? Um, and, um, and so, yeah, that's what I really liked about this textbook. But, but other than that, it's still a great textbook. Let's just go through the table of contents here. So here, you can see that part one covers the standard introductory material of any complex analysis course. Okay. And um, moving forward in the table of contents. Um, um, we're still just covering the standard topics of a complex analysis class. And we can see that in part three, it, it is an advanced textbook. It's a graduate level textbook. Part three, we get all the way to not just um, not just the Riemann mapping theorem, okay? I believe the Riemann mapping theorem was probably proved, yeah, probably it was proved in chapter eight here. We get all the way to the uniformization theorem, okay? Which states that um, it's basically a classification of simply connected, uh, simply connected Riemann surfaces, okay? So essentially, the idea is, well, simply connected just means that the fundamental group is trivial, okay? And um, and basically, all simply connected um, surfaces, you can just go to the start of this page here so it'll state explicitly. Again, I'm not trying to take advantage of this textbook. Hopefully, this isn't a copyright issue. Um, but I think I'm promoting the textbook, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be hurting the author at all. Um, so we'll just go to this statement here. Um, so basically here, the, re the uniformization theorem is a generalization of the Riemann mapping theorem, uh, which says that the only universal covering surfaces are the disk, plane, and sphere up to conformal equivalence, okay? So what that means is that conformal mappings are, of course, the um, complex analytic um, notion of a differentiable map or uh, a complex um, analytic um, notion of a diffeomorphism. Where instead of a diffeomorphism, we have, of course, uh, a, a bi biholomorphic map. Okay, and then holomorphic maps are, are essentially complex differentiable um, functions, and they preserve angles locally, and so they're called conformal mappings for that reason. And the idea is that the uniformization theorem, which is shown in this book, uh, that that theorem essentially says that that if you look at open sets in the complex plane, it's a generalization of, of, of a statement which states that if you look at open um, open subsets of the complex plane, which are simply connected, i.e. they have some uh, trivial fundamental group, then they are conformally equivalent to either the plane, the unit disk, or the uh, Riemann sphere. So there's a ton of structure. There's a ton of structure embedded in the complex numbers, and it's very limited. Uh, the amount of um, simply connected... Um, Riemann surfaces is extremely limited and this textbook does the full proof of even the oh, up to the uniformization theorem so a generalization of what I just described which was the Riemann mapping theorem uh, one of the most powerful theorems I've encountered in complex analysis generalized to the uh, concept of Riemann surfaces. So I'd highly recommend this book as a supplement to the Stein and Shikarshi book, which I recommended in my previous video. And more than that, it's, it's a relatively short book. You can see the size here. Uh, it's not too, too long of a read, but it, go, it covers a lot of material. And I really like the illustrations and the graphics in this textbook. So I'd highly recommend it. Um, and yeah, and thanks for watching my videos.